um so i think a really big one is to value clarity and simplicity so with our data set there are a lot of things that we could have done with it and i think design is as much about what you exclude as it is about what you include um so there um another thing that i thought about a lot was uh designing for people who don't read everything <laughs> um, so i think a lot of a lot of like heavy serious content on the web it almost like makes the implicit assumption that like readers have infinite time and they're gonna like pour over every single word and that's just like not the case um, I mean, even if I read something that I like care about, I'm probably skimming it. Um, so I try to think a lot about um, like what the experience would be like for someone who was going through without like reading every single sentence really carefully. So I mean, some design tricks are just to add subheadings like, ah, what is this? Sorry, uh, okay. Um, so, I mean, like, a really simple thing is to just have subheadings. So instead of a giant block of text, like, break it out into, like, these big pink headings and then some subheadings that are lighter. Um, also, turning some things that are just sentences uh, and, like, styling them. So, for example, with, like, 851 blocks and 121 blocks, that, like, could have just been a sentence, but I tried to break it out. And so another big thing is to make sure that stuff works on mobile devices. Um, so I would say like probably half of the time I spent working on this website was to like fix random ugly things uh, when looking at it on a phone. And it turns out that um, from our Google Analytics, like 60% of people are looking at stuff um, on a phone or on a tablet. Um, so yeah, it takes a lot of work and it sucks and it's like kind of boring, but it's important. Um, and then something else that we adhere to generally at DataMate is to work in the open. Uh, so we have our code all open. If you scroll all the way down, um, we have a link to our GitHub repo. If you don't know what GitHub is, it's kind of like a Dropbox for developers, where developers, you know, just publish all their code and have it have it out in the open for anyone to take uh, and adapt. Uh, Um, but I, I do think it is important to like add some kind of call to action um, when you work on projects like this because I think like a lot of um, like something I'm not a fan of in the media is like a lot of times there will just be an article and it's like here is something that like sucks in the world the end and there's nothing that you can do about it um, and I really think that being informed is only important like to the extent that you can act on it 